Hey, what's up guys it's Theo from Final Concept, and today we are looking at motion graphics with adobe photoshop in this video we are just going to look at how to create a loading bar in adobe photoshop let's get started Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. All right, so I'll go ahead and open up my application here. And like I said, we are using Photoshop and I'll go ahead and create a new document. Um, if your interface is like this, it's probably because you are using a newer version of Photoshop. So just click on film and video and just select whichever resolution you are working with. I will just go with the 1080p version, but if you are using 4K, that is also available here. 2K is also here, but I'll just go with the 1080p and click on create. All right, so the idea here is to have our templates or what we want our loading bar to say. So if you have anything in mind, that is cool for you, but I have a particular design I want to go with, and that is what we are going to do in this video. So first of all, um, like you notice, I have my rulers app here, which is activated by using Control R. So just press, hold down the Control key and press R, and it's going to show. So you click and drag towards the center, and I'm just going to align everything at the center like so. Now I'll quickly grab the rectangle tool, which is right here, or you on your keyboard, and right click on it, go to rectangle tool. Up here, I'll set the width or the radius of the edges to about 200 pixel and click on OK. If you are using an older version of Photoshop, um, you have to create the shape first. Then in the properties panel, you change the sizes to whatever it is that you are interested in right over here. But I already have a newer version, so that is just fine. Now I'll go ahead and stretch it out whilst holding on the shift key and I'll place it at the center like so something like this looks cool let's grab our type 2 the horizontal type 2 and i'll type in something like loading bar all right so i've set this to the center align and probably increase the font size as well so probably um 100 points should be just fine okay so let's place this somewhere around here so we have our rectangle here, which is going to be our loading bar background. We have our text in here, which is loading, and we have to create our loading bar itself. Again, I'll go back to the rectangle tool. This time around, I'm going to change the fill color to white and having no stroke in there is just fine. So I'll just click and drag it somewhere around here. I want it to be in the center of the black one. So I'll use my move tool or V on your keyboard and place it at the center like so right at the center is just fine so if i zoom in and out this is what we have so far if you have some interesting background you can also add that which i'll be doing after the tutorial obviously now i think we are basically ready to start with the whole motion graphics or animation of this so to do that just go into your window option up here and select timeline which should be down here now all these um, guidelines are quite confusing to me so let me quickly hide them you don't have to do them but i don't want to get too confused over here so i'll take my off so now that we have our timeline option down here click on create video timeline and everything should be in a five second long video so we have our background we have our rectangle which is here we have our loading text and we have the second rectangle you know what's the second rectangle let's call it the loading bar so that we don't confuse ourselves to rename anything just double click and you can go ahead and change the name right now we have the loading bar set as a shape because we created it using the shape tool so if i click on this little arrow we have here you notice we have the position opacity style vector mass position and vector mass enabled this is not what we want we want to be able to transform this but because it is a shape we can't get that um, particular option so what we'll do is we'll right click um, convert to smart objects that should give us the transform options yeah that is here so this is what we are going to do we want the video to be it's already five seconds long so if you want to make it a lot more longer you have to stretch it out so i'll just move this over to the five second mark which is the last part and i'll click on the keyframe icon here or the stop clock icon here 
and i'll move this to the beginning of our frame and i'll also create one like so you don't have to create it the moment you just transform it is going to create automatically so either way it should be just fine now once i have done this i want to bring the beginning of this clip to this particular area so what we have is the motion is going to start off from here or the transformation is going to start off from here and end over here so i just click and drag in some cases you may have to hold down the shift key in other cases like using an older version of photoshop you don't have to click that so if i go ahead and play this you should notice that the bar is loading in like so so um it's not doing anything drastic it's just transforming it from where we had it initially to the last part like so and that is looking quite awesome we already have our first loading bar which is cool but we can always add in a lot more so um instead of the white i think i'm rather going with a solid color so i'll double click since it is a shape and i'll change the color so you know what let's double click on the edge here or just select it and go to fx and click on color overlay color overlay means a color on top of it so color overlap and overlaying then i'll set the color to something interesting probably uh, red or blue or purple or pink any color you feel comfortable with just go with that i'll go with this color and go ahead and save this up so i'll close it and save it and it should reflect on what we have here like so beautiful so we are actually done with our loading bar but it's looking a bit boring so what we have to do is add in a, probably a circle over here at the end so that it moves with the loading bar as well so i'll go back to the shapes tool grab the ellipse tool and i'll create a perfect circle while holding on the shift key so something like this is looking nice yep something like this is looking nice and i think we should make the color also purple like this and click on ok then we are going to have a stroke around this purple color so go into fx click on stroke now you know what uh, the stroke is looking nice already like so but i honestly don't like it being on the outside so for position i'll change it to inside then i'll set it to a particular weight and size that i want i want probably about 15 and click on ok so if i zoom out this is what we have now i should bring this to the beginning of the clip so i want this to move from the beginning right to the end just as the loading bar is also doing the same all right so with our ellipse what we have to do is just rasterize this so right click and go to rasterize layer you can also add in the layer style if you want to make the stroke permanent then we go into our timeline over here again drop the arrow and we click on position because i want this circle to move from the beginning over here right to the end like so so i create a position keyframe for the end then i'll move over to the beginning and i'll create a position keyframe for the beginning as well now all i have to do is just move this over here but in doing so i have to make sure that i hold down the shift key so that it is moving horizontally at a zero degree angle and we don't get something like this moving off our alignment else it's just going to be moving like this and that is quite unprofessional so i'll have it over here whilst holding on the shift key and you notice it created the position keyframe for us this is what i was trying to say initially so that is the before and this is the after it created both for us now if i go ahead and just play this you should see that it is moving right when the playhead is also moving and this is looking quite interesting for us so basically this is how we want it now uh, unfortunately for us it's just five seconds which is not enough so we have to make it much longer now i already have a clip or should i say an audio clip that i want to sync with this so what i'll do is where we have the audio track here click on this and go to add audio now i already have my audio um over here so i'll go ahead and just grab it the olabi outro and just click on ok it will take a while to load and this is it so if i zoom out you notice it's about 20 seconds so all i'll do is i'll select everything i have here and stretch them out to the 20 second mark like so stretch it out stretch it out like so you can do this before you even start with the whole thing just import your sound in doing so all i have to do is just bring the keyframe to the end 
and the keyframe for the loading bar as well also bring it to the end so it's also going to play right when the audio is playing so let's go ahead and test run this and see what we have So basically this is it this is how to create a loading bar in photoshop if you have other features you want to add in you can go ahead and add them as well anyway thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos don't forget to hit that subscribe button and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is theo from Final concept and i'll talk to you guys in the next one